So guys, welcome back. It's Simply Amanda, and I've got a not-so-simple project to do today. It's this freezer up here, you see. I cleaned out the bottom part, which I will link above, called the Big Clean Out. Today I'm working on the freezer. So what's in it? Mainly, it's it's probably about 75% full. Well, not 70, about halfway full of tomatoes from this past year's um, tomato harvest where I've been shoving them in there because I've had so much stuff going on I had I hadn't had a chance to get them done but I'm going to get them done now because it's becoming that wonderful time of year when they put stuff on sale for the upcoming holidays and I need the room and not only that it's just disgusting Shh. does anybody else have a funky refrigerator freezer I do because it's so easy to open the door and then shut it and not have to look at it but I can't do it anymore because when I open it and stuff falls on my feet it's ugly. So, tomatoes. Yeah. So, let's get started, guys. If you like this video, like, subscribe, share. Only after you watch it. I appreciate it. Let's get it going. So, here is the stock pot that needs to be filled with tomatoes. We can make some lovely pizza spaghetti sauce. Going to go into the freezer. Yeah. Part of this freezer clean out um, is getting in here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really sure how many tomatoes I got in here, but... There's quite a few, definitely quite a few. So let me go ahead because I'm going to have to put this camera down while I go in here and get this. Oh my word, what on earth is in this freezer? What's in this freezer? Well, let's get the tomatoes and we'll find out. Okay, let's see if I can get these tomatoes down here. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> Y'all, I haven't even shown you what's hitting the floor yet. Mmm, all these tomatoes, y'all. Um, here's some more. You know, we've got to love the modern marvels of the freezer because I would have had to have done this right then and there. And honestly, right now, I'm wishing my procrastination had not gotten the best of me. Yeah. Oh, I think that's the last of them now. I think that's the last of them. I think that's the last of them. So, guys, here's the tomatoes I got. I've got plenty. I've got this stock pot full and this stock pot full. So, that's the last of the tomatoes in this freezer. I've got one, my stand up freezer that's got like two bags. I'll use those up. Let me show you what the freezer looks like. Here's what the freezer looks like now without the tomatoes in it. See, I knew it was all tomatoes. Um, here's some stuff on the side. I've been doing a lot of pre-cooked meals. It's easier to cook it ahead of time and pull it out later on. But yeah, so this is what it looks like now. Let's get a look at it and I'll come back and show you the, the after and see what I got. But what do I have in here? I have found some stuff I did not even know I had. These are the chicken tenders I got the other day. I'll link it up in a video where I had them for 99 cents um, a pound. I got some ham steak, some Italian sausage, yeast, some peppers. Those need to go in the garbage because they've been in here way too long. I can tell they're fruit, um, frozen, freezer burned. Um, there's some frozen macaroni cheese back there. Several packs of tortilla chips. Um, a few berries, not many. Most, most of my berries are in the other freezer. Um, I got some sausage down there. I have no clue what's over there. What is that down there? Bacon. Um, oh my goodness, y'all. This is something from 2020. What is this? Um, what is that? Oh, that's, that's, um, Kibasa, the Piggly Wiggly brand. Um, what else do I have back here? I have a bag of ice. Crazy. What do I have a bag of ice in here? Um, a lone, <laughs> a lone bag of brownies for hubby's lunch. Yeah, I got my workout for me today. So guys, what I'm going to do, it's going to take most of the morning to thaw this out. I'm going to get, once this thaws out, I'll go ahead and get it put onto the oven and go ahead and get my, um, sauce making and but the most important we're gonna get this cleaned out yeah we're gonna do some motivation we're gonna get this mess cleaned out yeah hi guys all those tomatoes you just saw i've got them cut up the bad ones fed to the chickens and i ended up getting a full pot which i am currently cooking down right now um with the onions that were in my freezer and this is going to be turned into um, spaghetti pizza sauce. I'm actually kind of kicking around the idea of just making um, juice with it. I'm not really sure yet, but I really want to see if I can get almost a year's worth 
um, at least a half a year, six months worth of pasta sauce. That's just like a goal I've always wanted. But the best part about it, y'all, the best part, even though this is still a hot mess, there ain't one single tomato in there. Every bit of it you see is in that pot. Now guys, to go with all these lovely tomatoes I just pulled out of my freezer that came from my garden, I'm going to be making some sauce with it. Like I said previously, I need to add some, to, um, what do you call it, tomato paste to it. That just helps, I don't know, it's a lazy way of making it thicker instead of watching it cook down. But anyway, I'll be adding this to it. I got all this stuff at really good prices. These I actually got about three years ago before the tomato products went up. I think this can was like 87 cents and that's like 12 ounces that's like two of those small six ounces i need to use use these up because they expire next month of 2023 although i know for a fact they will stay in the um cabinet the pantry a whole lot longer i just don't like keeping tomato products a long time in cans because i've ha i've done that before and they rusted out the bottom and it's just not a good thing so i need to use these cans of tomato paste as long as this as well as this one that i got from the discount grocery store this has a disc uh what do you call it an expiration date of 2022 should have already used it although this can is very well intact i'm i'm very glad that this one hasn't messed up but it needs to be used so anyway i'll link up above a video i did the other day about expired food how i'm trying to use everything in my pantry not only my freezer not only my freezer guys but to use everything in my pantry to make way for our sales that are going to be coming up but it started with this right here getting all those tomatoes out of that freezer so i can get other stuff put into it or or just see some see some nice clean freezer and not have things fall out my feet all the time so guys, here is what it's looking like now. Not bad, but I am realizing that I have a whole lot more berries. I also this year put my blueberries in here. I have a lot of blueberries. Um, like I said, these were from this year and last year. So I have a lot of blueberries. Ugh. Now I did the tomatoes. Now I'm going to end up having to get those and work on jelly for that and I also have a bunch of jer uh, not jerky good night what am I thinking bacon that I need to work through a pathetically lone waffle for my grandchild um and here else here's what we got we got some pepperoni we got some um pecans from my dad um sausage ham steak soft taco shells some of these um nuggets that I got from the other day and I need to double bag them again I should have done that already and I need to do that so and I found some, which I'm glad I used a double bag, some meatballs, which I used to give my grandson. I didn't even know they were there. So, oh, and I still have a bunch on the side, some steak, sausage, more nuggets, some bacon, pepperoni, and a breakfast sandwich. So, here's what it looks like. And hopefully, when I show you again in a few minutes, it'll look a whole lot better. Yuck, y'all. Here's what she looks like empty. Oh, my word. <laughs> Let's get her cleaned out. All right, guys, here she is clean. All we gotta do now is get all this stuff. Yep, all this stuff and put it back in. And I did pick some of these um, trays up. Hopefully, um, it'll help with stacking stuff up. So let's get to it. Guys, just wanted to show you what I ended up having to throw away out of all that. I'm throwing this stuff away because it just looks super, super bad. Um, 2004, I'm not sure. Not 2004, January 4th. I think that was of 2021. I'm not really sure. I don't see a date. But these two are going in the garbage. Um, I might cook it up and give it to the cats or the chickens. I'm not sure yet. That. And the only other thing I threw away as well was some, some really nasty broccoli that was bad and those peppers. Because those were the things that I knew were in there way too long and they needed to go. So that's not bad. I'm considering everything that I've got here. Everything else is perfectly fine um that looks pretty gross y'all that looks pretty gross so guys let's do the freezer reveal Ta-da! here we go oh my word this is so much better y'all so so much better i did have these plastic bins i decided to go ahead and use them i wasn't sure that they would fit but they do fit uh, let me tell you i know where everything's at bacon in here the fritters some steaks that got to be used, tortillas, all of these, all of these um, berries right here, along with another freezer that I've got, that's going to be my next project, canning them up, making jelly out of them. I have a lot of pre-cooked stuff here. I've got pre-cooked 
what you call it, um, some steak, some steak right here, some sausage that's going to be used in the casserole, some bacon, and I bought the sausage I got, like I said, I'll hit it up here, um, the sausage I got at Walmart for $2.25 and $2.50 a pound, um, amazing price, but yeah, y'all, oh, and over here, this looks a whole lot better too, just some more sausage from a discount grocery store, that lone waffle will be for my grandson, my pecans from my dad's tree, some yeast, and very simply, um, some blueberry muffins. And with all this, guys, all of this stuff will be used first. I will take everything that is in my freezer over there, my stand-up freezer, and move it over here once it's used. But all of this stuff needs to be used first, with the exception of this sausage. This doesn't need to be used first. Um, I need to use this sausage up here and the other stuff that's in the other freezer because it's the oldest. So yeah, definitely guys, yeah. Thumbs up, subscribe, share. Yeah, guys, <laughs> let's motivate each other. So guys, look, it's done. Oh, I'm just so happy, so, so happy. Let me look at that, I just gotta get another look at it. Anyway, hopefully it'll stay that way for a while. Will it stay that way for a while? God, I doubt it. I don't think I can get too much room in it because I, until I get these berries done. But anyway, hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you do like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it. Until the next time, have an awesome day. God bless.